Hey everyone, it's Kat and welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. I am 52 years old and I love makeup and skincare. And today we're going to be testing out a cult classic, a no color setting powder. But before we hop into it, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And remember, I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Okay, so one of my subscribers suggested I test out this cult classic. I'm talking about the RCMA no color powder. It is a setting powder that literally has no color to it. So it's supposed to be suitable for all skin tones from light to even the deepest, darkest shade. So I am super intrigued about testing out this no color setting powder. Apparently it's been used on Hollywood sets by all makeup artists. I already have my eyeshadow on, my eyes are done. Um, I just use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette, but in my next upcoming videos, I will be testing out the Tati textured neutrals palette. I cannot wait to share that with you. RCMA stands for the Research Council of Makeup Artists. That's why it's special. Keep your makeup fresh and flawless for hours with no caking, really, creasing, ashiness, or breakthrough shine. This pigment-free formula blends smoothly over all skin tones and makeup products without altering color or texture. It blurs fine lines, pores and imperfections with a silky ultra fine blend of talc and silica. As you can see, I already have my eyes done and we're just gonna start out with foundation, go in with concealer, finish it off with the RCMA no color powder. To me, it looks like a salt shaker. So the foundation I'm gonna use today is my tried and true, I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills luminous foundation and I believe I am in shade 160C. So let's go ahead and apply the foundation. Now, a long time ago, back in the mid 90s, I lived in Los Angeles and I was a fit model for guests. No joke, I'm not joking. For guests kids. I know, that's how small I am. I once got scouted when I was coming out of a movie theater with my boyfriend at the time. And they asked me if we were interested in filming a local television commercial. And uh, my boyfriend said, sure. Um, I said, okay. Uh, so we went to the studio and I was sitting in the makeup chair, no joke, for about 90 minutes, about an hour and a half, just to film this like 30 second clip. We were sitting on, a sofa fighting over the remote control. But I remember how much makeup they piled on my face. And once I got out of the chair, it literally looked like I had no makeup on. It was the quintessential no makeup makeup look. They used a lot of makeup, but I'm sure they used this because this has been around for a really long time. And now I'm gonna go on with the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. Now blend. Okay, foundation and concealer is on. Now being 52 years old, I do have fine lines under my eyes. I have fine lines through here, but this product promises not to settle into the fine lines. It's supposed to blur your pores, uh, create a flawless look. So yeah, we'll see about that. As you can see, it's super no frills. It literally reminds me of my garlic salt shaker. But yes, let's take it out and take a look. It literally looks like talc powder. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit in my hand. Oh, literally, it is so finely milled. Let's take a look at the texture. Super finely milled. I mean, and this is suitable for all skin tones. So I'm super excited to test this out. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit on my Sigma brush like so. Make sure I have a lot of product on there. And go under this eye and just sweep it. And up through my T-zone. And it's also supposed to brighten as well. So cover up those dark circles. Oh wow. 
Let's see. Do you see that? Do you see any creasing there? Now, granted, I'm using the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer, so that could have a lot to do with it. But this feels so finely milled. I'm gonna go around my nose area because sometimes my foundation does get cakey a little bit around the nose area and in this area as well. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, now what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and pop on my contour, my blush and lipstick and I'll be right back. Final look everyone. Now for cheeks, I just went in with Benetton's Lip and Cheek Stain. You know I've been loving this for the last several weeks. I think it adds just such a natural flush and it doesn't add texture to my 52 year old skin. And also for Sculpt and Glow, for contour and highlight, Makeup Revolutions, I love this stuff. And for lips, I just went in with Liquid Catsuit from Wet n Wild in Petal Poison. I love how the RCMA powder is just creating such a brightening effect under my eyes. And look how seamless my skin looks. It is definitely blurring my pores. The RCMA No Color Powder retails for $12. I actually got it off the Beautylish website and a little bit goes a long way. You actually get three ounces and you just use a tiny amount just to set the face. I am loving this, you guys. It is exactly 11 a.m. I can't wait to see how this lasts. So let's go check out what it looks like in natural daylight. Okay. And here we are in natural daylight. Oh my God, it's so cold out here. But yeah, the RCMA powder, look how flawless my skin looks. I am super impressed. No wonder this is a cult classic, but let's see how it lasts all day long. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. And I am back. It is exactly 9.24 p.m. It's been over 10 hours since I first applied the RCMA No Color Powder. And oh my God, I cannot believe the results that I've had today. We went to a hot air balloon festival, my husband and my daughter and I. Um, the elements were super cold. It was 48 degrees out, I believe. I have not touched up all day. And when I asked my husband, Matt, what do you think of my makeup? He said, oh my God, your skin looks amazing. No wonder everybody loves it. It has no flashback. It's very blurring, no cakiness. Now granted, there is slight transfer where I wore my specs, but oh my God, it's been over 10 hours with zero touch-ups. I highly recommend this setting powder. And I would love to see a darker skin tone person test this out and let me know what you think. Thank you so much to my subscriber, Diane, for recommending this to me. And leave a comment down below if you want me to try out something else. I'm game, I am here for you. But yeah, in my next video, I cannot wait. My Tati eyeshadow palette is on its way and I have been testing and reviewing some skincare products that I can't wait to share with you. So don't forget to click like and subscribe. And remember, I upload every Sunday and Wednesday and don't forget to click on my little head right here in case you haven't subscribed yet. And if you don't, that's cool too. And don't forget to check out the videos up here in case you're interested. So that's all I've got for you tonight. I love you, mahalkita, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.